Now look, all politicians lie to some degree, all, but there is a developing narrative driven by some liberal commentators that Mitt Romney seems to lie a lot. Richard Cohen wrote this about Romney in the Washington Post this week. What his career has given him is the businessman's concept of self, that what he does is not who he is. Business is business. It's what you do. It is not who you are. Lying isn't a sin. It's a business plan. And here's Rachel Maddow on MSNBC last month. This is not a normal amount of politician lying. Mr. Romney lies about himself. He lies about the president. He lies about policy. He lies about everything. Which brings us to this statement that Governor Romney and his surrogates have been repeating over and over again. These are just some statistics which show just how severe the war on women has been by virtue of the president's failed policies. The number of jobs, this is an amazing statistic, the percentage of jobs lost by women in the president's three years, three and a half years, 92.3% of all the jobs lost during the Obama years have been lost by women. An Associated Press fact check called that statement dubious at best, according to the nonpartisan factcheck.org. Diana Furtgott Roth, a chief economist at the U.S. Department of Labor under President George W. Bush, says she couldn't think of any Obama policies that have led to a slower recovery for women. Obama's policies have been anti-growth, she said, but if anything, they have been anti-male jobs. So Mitt Romney, the self-proclaimed expert on the economy, who keeps repeating this lie, labeled dubious by the AP and mostly false by PolitiFact.org, you are the winner of this week's 